Um, before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Baha, Waka Kodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Who will well teach well, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Peace, blessing, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazakah from the servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as We cannot be carnal in the truth We cannot be carnal in this truth And this topic has been on my spirit lately So we're going to do a quick hit You as a Hebrew Israelite A so called Negro, Hispanic And Native American Indian You're not to be carnal in the truth man and uh, we're going to get some scriptures out. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Galatians 5 and 16. It says, this, it says this I say then. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Galatians 5 and 16. It's like it. Galatians 5 and 16. It says this I say then. Walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Con. Walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. You see that? So we got to walk in the spirit. We got to be spiritual minded when we're out here teaching. That goes to being at camp. You know, that goes, you know, to us, you know, teaching this truth in general. Just you as an individual conducting yourself in this ministry, you're to be carnal. I mean, not, you are to not to be carnal. It's so like you are to be spiritual. You know, you can't be, you know, spitting on individuals, you know, trying to punch on people, you know, putting your boots on individuals, you know, just, you know, being militant, you know, having guns on you at camp, wearing do-rags. Having your head covered, you know, you know that your the crown of your head is to be open, but you know you're wearing a do rag covering the crown of your head. You know, you got these individuals; they're not conducting themselves, you know, righteously. You know, they're they're willingly doing stuff. You know, you got individuals eating pork; they're not supposed to be eating pork, but they're eating pork. You know, they're doing what they want to do, and not the will of the Lord. And that's not a, 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 a way to conduct yourself in this ministry. You know, let's read again. Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. See, so you are to walk in the spirit. This is a spiritual walk. This is a spiritual journey, a spiritual battle between yourself. Verse 17, it says, For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. See, and that's the thing that's, that you go through in this truth. You know, your flesh lusts against the spirit. You know, so you be having, you know, carnal thoughts. You know, you may be having wicked thoughts. You may be a brother that, you know, have just thoughts just come up. You know, or you just be, you know, your flesh tries to have you go off. You know, that's why you, you're to fast and you are to pray. Verse 17, it says, For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. And that happens to a lot of us in this truth. You know, we have these carnal thoughts. You know, our body, they do these carnal things. That's why we are to pray and ask the Lord to, you know, rebuke these spirits and stuff. You know, it says in the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other. These are contrary one to another. Because the spirit is against the flesh. Alright. The flesh is does the, the flesh does the things of the earth, the world, the carnal things. 
and the spirit does the will of the Lord. So, you know, you may be a brother that be, you know, wanting to do the rehearsing of the righteous things, but you have your flesh causing you to go off. This is why we ask the Lord for mercy, because you had men like um, Apostle Paul, you know, the Apostle Paul, he was an example. He was a man of the Lord, right? But he admitted, when you read in uh, Romans, the seventh chapter, that he couldn't keep the laws perfectly because of his flesh, right? Because of the, the carnalities of the flesh. This is why we are to, you know, rehearse the righteous acts and to be mindful, you know, and to be spiritual. Always, you know, to walk in the spirit. Because we know that being in the flesh, that's not going to profit us. That's going to cause us to be destroyed. It says, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. See, because at one time, we were in the world. So the things that we did were pleasing to the flesh. But now that we're in the truth, we're not going to do the things that we that we would in the times past. The, the person who we were in the past. We're no longer in those type of behaviors because now we know right from wrong. I mean, we knew right from wrong in the flesh, but we didn't understand the purposes of the law of the Lord, you know, of the ways of the Lord. So we didn't know that doing things, you know, wickedly was that severe, you know, to the judgment of being put to death by the Lord. So now that we know these things, we fear the Lord. So we're not going to do the things that we would, the things that we know is wrong, you know, like getting tattoos. We know not to get that stuff, right? Verse 18, it says, but if ye be led of the Spirit, see, so if you're led by the Spirit, you know, you're fasting, you're praying, you know, you're being circumspect, you're not going to do the things of the flesh, right? It says, ye are not under the law. Verse 19, now the works of the flesh see these are the things of the flesh these are the things that are of the flesh right the things that are not profitable for you as a man of the lord it says now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these see which are these adultery fornication uncleanliness lasciviousness right these are the things that is not profitable for you these are the things that can put you in judgment of the hand seat of the Lord, right? You can be put to death. Verse 20, it says, idolatry, see, witchcraft, herent, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, meaning lies, envying, murders, drunkenness, rebellings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Most High. See, that's what's going to lead you to be, be destroyed. You see that? So these these things of the flesh, these are the things that are carnal. These are all the things that's, that's not beneficial to you as an Israelite, as a so-called Negro, Hispanic, Native American Indian, which you are an Israelite. You are not to conduct yourself in these behaviors here when you read in verse 19 to 20. All the way down to 21. You will not inherit the kingdom. You will be destroyed by the Lord. Right? But if you transverse from that and do the opposite of the flesh, right? Which is what? Verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. This is the way of the Spirit. So this is why we're to be spiritual. Because if we're doing the things of the flesh, if we're being carnal. It's not profiting us. We're not going to receive that salvation. Right? Verse 22. But this fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering. Man, doing the things of the Spirit, long-suffering is one of the biggest things that you have to go through in this truth. You cannot escape suffering. You cannot escape long-suffering. Because long-suffering is the whole point of you being tested by the Lord. It says gentleness, goodness, faith. And you need faith. This is why, again, we tell you guys all the time, faith is what's going to get you through. Verse 23, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. 
Verse 24, and they that are Yahweh Shai's have crucified the flesh with the affections of lust. You see that? Verse 25, this is the main point. Salakia. This is the main point. If we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. See? So if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. So you are to be spiritual minded in this truth. You don't want to be carnal. Romans 8 and 5, it says, For they that are after the flesh do minded things of the flesh. And these, you got Israelites that's claiming to be in this truth. They're walking in the ways of the flesh. They're not being spiritual, right? You have individuals that be carrying guns and, and bulletproof vests and things like this. And that's militant. It says, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, the men of the Lord, starting from the elders and apostles, a great millstone. These men are spiritual. We all walk spiritual to the best of our ability. Verse 6, for to be carnally minded is death. Right. So if you carnal, that's that's death. Right. It says, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And where we get peace in these holy scriptures. Verse 7, because the carnal mind is enmity, meaning hatred against the most high. For it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. Verse 8. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh. See, if you're in the flesh, you cannot please the Lord Yahweh Bashim Hashem. You got to be spiritual minded. Verse 9. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. See, so you're to be spiritual. Right? If you be carnal, and when I say carnal, it's being worldly. You know, you're willingly sinning. You're smoking weed. You know, you're committing adultery. You know, you're... You're being malicious, you know, a person that just got to get a get back from somebody. You know, you, you're eating abominable foods, you're tattooing yourself to death, right? You're backbiting and murmuring about other people, you know, or you may be a person that's jealous or you may be a person, you know, you at camp. Just for example, an individual, you're in the truth, but on the but on the left hand side, you know, you're, you're showing yourself to be a man of the Lord, but on the left hand side, you are really a wicked person. Those are not a good examples to be in the truth. Or you may be a Jake that's at camp, you know, and then you're you're spitting on people. We see I've seen that in the time past too, where you had a group, you know, they were getting the scriptures out, such 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 and such, and then you had Arabs that were over talking them. You know, they were trying to get the scriptures out, kept on over talking them, and they got upset, and then they spit on the on the heathen. You don't do that. Because you can put your, you can put the ministry and put you in a bad situation. That's why we got to be circumspect. Verse 9, it says, But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. It says, Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is none of his, the main point. And if Yahweh Shai be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. See, so you're to be spiritual minded in this truth. And the main point, too, is in verse 9 where it says, But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. See, so you're to be spiritually minded. It says, If so be that the spirit of the Most High dwell in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Yahweh Shai, he is not of his. So the Lord ain't dealing with you. This is why you got to be spiritual when you out here. You know, you got to be spiritual in this truth. You can't be carnal, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Just wanted to do a quick hit, giving all praises to Yahweh Bashim Hashai, Bashim Kodash. And double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.